Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in that we're reading name 3 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not, the noise of a whip and the noise of a rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of war crafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her rich or witchcrafts. But be, behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock. And it shall come to pass, that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee, and say, Nineveh is laid waste, who will bemoan her? Whence shall I seek comforters for thee? Art thou better than populous? Know that what's situate among that was situate among the rivers that had the waters run about it, whose rampart was the sea, and her wall was from the sea? Ethiopia and Egypt were her strength, and it was infinite. Put and Put and Lubin were thy helpers, yet was she carried away, she was wet. She went into captivity, her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets, and they cast lots for her honourable men, and all her great men were bound with chains. Though thou also shalt be drunken, thou shalt be hid, thou also shalt seek strength because of the enemy. All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees with the first ripe figs. If they be shaken, they shall even fall into the mouth of the eater. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open. Unto thine enemies the fire shall devour thy bars. Draw thee waters for the siege, fortify thy strongholds, go into clay and tread the mortar, make strong the big kiln. The brick kiln, there shall the fire devour thee. The sword shall cut thee off, it shall eat thee up like the canker worm. Make thyself many as the canker worm, make thyself many as the locust. Thou hast, thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven, the canker worm spoileth and fleeth away. Thy crown are as the locusts, and thy captains as the great grasshoppers, which camp in the edges in the cold day, but when the sun ariseth, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. Thy shepherds stumble, O king of Assyria. Thy nobles shall dwell in the dust. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathereth them. There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. All that hear the bruit of thee shall clap the hands over thee. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where the Lord speaks of the faith of Assyria. The fact that so it will be basically, it will mean it demise for all the wickedness that has happened there as well as Nineveh, right? Um, so just basically another look into what will happen to these nations the repercussions for all their actions their evil doings 
upon many the fact that they'll be shamed and brought to naught even though they were once held high in esteem so this is just a foretelling of what will happen so even though they may seem mighty now and strong and even though they may be lifted up at this point in time there is going to come a time where they'll be shamed where they'll be brought to naught where everyone they'll be like pickings and it speaks of the fair trees the fact that even if someone comes to pick from the ripe fruits they will just fall you don't have to do much it will just fall so it will be there for anyone to just come and do as they will with them because they are so feeble all right so even though they're great now they'll be so feeble in the time when the lord shall actually bring judgment upon them right so and we see where the locust is used as well right that allusion so guys just remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourself a blessed day bye